Ready to dive into the exciting world of speeding up and slowing down clips in Final Cut Pro? Let's get started. Pick a clip and hit Command plus R to bring up the retime control. Now you're in the driver's seat. You can drag this retime handle manually to either put the brakes on the clip or give it a turbo boost. Dragging to the right creates a slow motion effect and changes the retime indicator orange. Dragging to the left creates a fast motion effect and changes the retime indicator blue. See that icon lounging at the bottom of the viewer? Click on it and a whole world of preset speeds awaits you. Choose from the slow or fast options. Hit space and watch your masterpiece play back with those changes. It's like magic, right? Here's a little insider tip. Changing the clip's speed causes a ripple edit through the timeline. That means Final Cut Pro automatically moves other clips to make room or prevent gaps. If you want to change your clip's speed and keep the duration unchanged, just pick Custom from the Retime menu and wave goodbye to those pesky ripples. Uncheck the ripple box and now you can set a new speed and your clip's duration will remain as steady as a rock. For example, when you slow down a clip, the clip is slowed down and any excess footage gets snipped to keep things tidy. And when you rev things up, a gap clip hangs out in the empty spot, preventing any unexpected ripples. Ready to rock your video edits? Drop a like if you're excited to slow down or speed up your clips with Final Cut Pro. When you're done being the speed maestro, just click anywhere outside the window or press escape to bid it farewell. And hey, if you ever feel like giving your clip a reality check, bring the speed changes back to normal by selecting the clip, clicking on the retime menu, and hitting normal 100%. Or for the super speedy shortcut, it's Shift plus N. Voila, your clip's speed is back to its natural rhythm. So there you go. You're now the unofficial guru of retiming tools in Final Cut Pro. Ready for more video editing magic? Don't stop here. Dive into my next exciting tutorial and learn how to make transitions in Final Cut Pro. Click right over here to keep honing those editing skills and take your projects to the next level. Let's go.